Hey guys. Uh, I feel like ASS. I think I'm regretting the Cheesecake Factory last night. It's day 84. There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark Finally I can see you crystal clear Go ahead and sell me out and I'll let your ship be See how I'll leave with every piece of you Don't underestimate the things that I will do There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark The scar So guess what? Because I feel like and slept like crap last night, there's not going to be any body pump this morning. Sorry. There's not going to be any body pump this morning. I, I found ever since I've stopped eating so much of the crap and especially the intense sugar that when I do eat it, I and more prone to anxiety and panic attacks and I don't sleep well at all. I don't know why. I don't... Uh, part of me was thinking maybe I had IBS before but I didn't have any real symptoms of that last night. I just had anxiety and um, anyway bad night's sleep and I'm sorry, I just don't feel like going to the gym with my stomach feeling the way it does and everything. And But I am going to try to go to Body Pump later today. They have another class at 5 o'clock. So I'm going to really make an effort uh, to go. Uh, because we sh definitely should have time um, to go take that heart monitor back and then um, make it over there, finish with that, and then go pick Brian up at the airport. <sighs> so in between now and then, I'm going to rest. I'm going to clean this pigsty of a house. And I'm going to... Um, that's all I'm going to do other than take care of my kids until um, it's time to go to the Y at about quarter to five. So, this is my breakfast. This is V8 juice. I know that might not be the best thing for a queasy stomach, but I really am, I'm really not queasy right now. I just, when I woke up this morning, I still felt full. Isn't that disgusting? It was really disgusting how much I ate last night. I mean, treating yourself is one thing, indulging is one thing. Um... And I guess it's not like I ate a whole buffet, but for my stomach being as small as it's shr shrunken down to be, and only being used to being filled with so much food at a time, and then I really overindulged, and it's no lie. I had the appetizer, I had the full meal, broken up into two separate servings, and then I also kind of nursed that cheesecake last night. And, you know, I think it was really the cheesecake that did it, because even though I was overly full after the second helping of the dinner, it's after I had the cheesecake and, and everything that I really think that that's what pushed it over the edge. But, anyway, I'm going to try to feel better. I'm going to try to get up and get some things done today. Even though I, I slept like crap and feel like crap and didn't do, I'm not going to do exactly what I said I was going to do. I'm going to try my best to be positive and motivated today. So I'm going to take my vitamin with my V8 juice and um, that's what I'm going to do.
It is noon. I am feeling much better. I set out to be productive, and I have been. I've done laundry, I've done dishes, I've cleaned up, I've organized, I've started to clean. I've done quite a bit for me in the span of a couple hours, so I'm pretty proud of the way things are going. I started to feel better. I'm still not quite right in the stomach, but I am feeling quite energized. Uh, so I'm feeling good about that. I'm just fixing some eggs, eggs with salsa on toast. Um, Right now, I'm gonna eat that. It's one o'clock. Um, I've cleaned up some more and vacuumed, and uh, now I'm having one serving of these, which are 150 calories for one ounce. It's two o'clock. I'm having kind of what would be my lunch, and I know it's not the healthiest thing, especially on a kind of a weird stomach, but um, if I'm gonna go work out tonight, I have to be you know, prepared to eat the calories back because that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so I've had to ha kind of have multiple little snacks all throughout the day. At 1 o'clock I had a light string cheese for 60 calories. This meal I think is about 400 calories if my calculation in my head is correct. Um, about 400 calories, yeah. Uh, and then I plan on having a bowl of cereal at about 3.30, then we're going to leave here at 4 to go to the sporting goods store to try to, uh, well, I'm going to think positively, to return it for a full refund, and then we are going to make our way to the Y for body pump class at 5 o'clock. Um, I've had waves all throughout the day of, I've been really motivated, lots of energy today, I'm crazily since I slept like total you know what last night, but um, like I said, yeah, I don't know if it's the... Uh, all the all the calorie and carb boost and sugar boost from yesterday carrying over today and in combination with the vitamin that I took or or what but I felt motivated and pretty good even though I'm feeling kind of a little off um, getting a lot done so I'm glad about that I'm gonna eat this finish my homework that is due uh, by tonight at midnight um, we have about an hour and a half till the baby's gonna wake up, snacks, and get out the door at that time. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna eat this. I still haven't got the vlog up from yesterday because I didn't even uh, edit it last night or anything, so I gotta do that too. It is 4.07. We're on our way to Dick's Sporting Goods to take back the um, Solo 925 heart rate monitor. Which I'm sure is a fine heart rate monitor if you want to touch and hold the sensor to get your heart rate. But I'm not really wanting to do that. And luckily the manager's knock on wood going to give me a full refund. <laughs> it's my song, y'all! Alright. So, um, thank the Lord they did give me a full refund uh, for that heart rate monitor. Um, I've been doing some research and if I don't want to get a body bug or a media fit or whatever they call it, the armbands that you have to wear all the time, there is only one product on the market, actually two, uh, two versions of the same thing, same company. Um, one product on the market that does and is what I want it to be, and it's, that's incredible to me. Uh, so yeah, they got a monopoly on it, it seems. Um, but they, it's called the E-Pulse 2, anyway. Um, and what it is, is it's an armband that is a heart rate monitor and a calorie monitor without a chest strap. And they're about $120. I, I think I found, the cheapest I found it new was, well not counting on eBay because I didn't check there, but $119.99 free shipping. Um, they don't sell anything, they don't sell it locally at all. I had to buy it online. So, that's a lot of money to pay for a workout accessory, but... I'm seriously considering it. I talked to Brian about it a little bit earlier, and not that I necessarily have to ask permission, 
um, but you know I think if I'm gonna spend over a hundred dollars I should definitely uh, consult my partner to see what he has to say and uh, because sometimes you know I impulsively want to make a purchase that's not very smart and sometimes hey let go and sometimes he'll kind of let me see the light so I'm gonna talk to him about it and then hold on a second stop it you two now um sorry anyway I'll talk to you guys about it later okay so it's 615 got out of uh, body pump um, I definitely feel like I worked out, but I didn't push myself super duper duper hard because, you know, I was feeling off all day today. And it's hard for me to explain exactly how I feel. I just feel like, um, just like a little sick and like a little bit nauseous and like a little bit like woozy kind of. Um, so it's not horrible, but... You know, I just didn't want to feel like I was going to pass out or anything, and I have felt that way before in that class, so I just try to be a little bit easier on myself than I would have normally. Plus, that's my first time doing that class in probably five months or so. Um, so anyway, yeah, it was a good workout. I don't know how, uh, how many calories. Of course I don't yet. Hopefully I will have a good idea of that soon. Um... But I'm going to track on the MyPlate on um, Livestrong.com. I'm going to track about 50 minutes of free weight training and see what that gives me. Um, and then I'll know what I have to make up. Like I said, I planned on uh, having a protein shake when I get home. And then I might have something a little later. I mean, I have to make up these calories. So when we get home with Brian, I might have some... Um, leftover dinner that I'm going to make the girls or I may make myself a sandwich or something, you know, to make up the rest of the calories because so far I'm not going to be able to do, I'm not going to be able to replace the calories unless I do that, unless I eat later at night after we get home tonight. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so definitely big time vlogging fail. Sorry. It is uh, actually the next morning now, and I'm just going to wrap things up for you from yesterday. Um, and I'll end the vlog here. Um, as I said, you know, I uh, was going to go home. We went home, we got home about 6.15, made dinner for them, made my protein shake. Um, cleaned up a little bit more. We cleaned out the van, desperately needed it. And then um, about 8 o'clock... We left and we went to the airport to pick Brian up and didn't get home and get the kids into bed until about 10 o'clock. And then I had a little snack that I'll tell you about and uh, stayed up until about 12 or 1 with Brian and that's about it. Um, I also didn't tell you my weight yesterday, which you know is, you know, going to be skewed because of the indulgence day the day before. But my weight yesterday was 167.8. And um, I'll tell you what my calories ended up being. I probably, to tell you the truth, probably went a little bit over yesterday, uh, which I didn't intentionally do, but somehow it just, like, worked out that way. Like, I thought I had had something tracked when I didn't or something like that. Uh, but if I estimate my burn at uh, 400 th or. 437 calories for the body pump and the cleaning that I did yesterday, which I don't think is that outlandish of a, an estimation, then I was right on my calories. Um, my consumed calories were 1637. And uh, so, yeah, that left my deficit at about 1200. So, anyway, um, I'm not going to tell you anything I already told you that I ate. Um, and you know, I just said about the protein shake, I had some banana and that, so that was about 301 calories for the protein shake. And then my evening snack, uh, was half a serving of the garden salsa sun chips. Um, I was kind of snacking on black olives last evening, so I ended up having, uh, 15 total black olives, and that was for 75 calories, three servings of 25 each. I had another uh, light string cheese for 60 calories, and I had one serving of turkey pepperoni um, for 70 calories. So, 
that's my day uh, for yesterday. Sorry to have to update you this way, <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that I got that in for you guys. So, good night!